I heard my people, we are live. Hey, I'm getting messages. Hey, I Hello, my people. Sorry, I was in a call. I was in a call. Sorry. And uh, that's why I put it on mute. All right. Mm -hmm. I was in a call, guys. Our brother, as you can see, is already here. Mm -hmm. Let me take a moment to share this, guys. Don't, don't be in a hurry, okay? We will start within the next two minutes. I promise you. There is any distraction. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a nice Mm -hmm. I'm trying to share this in our WhatsApp group. Because our brother will be here will be back shortly. Mm -hmm. Our brother will be back shortly. Uh, let's greet our people. Yeah, he's back. He said no sound. Yeah, no sound before. Yeah, I was I meet it on purpose then. I meet it on purpose then. That was why. I greet you. I greet you as there. No, I know what I brought that day at this studio. Mm -hmm. In this studio, is here with us already. You can see me. You can hear me. You can see your messages. Who is Jubri Asuda? Are you still on here today? Hmm? Are you still on the lady? Hmm? Akadidigi? Akadidigo? I'm going to let you hear me. Can you hear me already? Mm-hmm. Yeah. My people, please, enough uh, with the greetings now. Let me bring on our brother to the screen. Uh -huh. You see her right now. Well, my people, 
Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. I want to officially welcome you all to this evening's broadcast. This evening, uh, we are going today marks it makes it exactly two years. Our brother Akwara was abducted until date. We don't know his whereabouts, that as far as the information I have is concerned. But today, I am going to bring someone on now, like you have seen it. He is our brother, Diopa Jojo Nibe. There is nobody who has been listening to Radio Biafra for years who doesn't know that name. When you are talking about the people that attracted in some intelligent minds, into IPOP. Sometimes you look at someone and say, ah, you mean you are you are listening to this and that? Without realizing that those people may have followed IPOP just because of people like our brother George Oni, but in his introduction, he will explain to you all how many how many uh, posts he held in IPOB, what he was doing. The play, just his his ranks in IPOB alone, the positions he held alone, is what I want you to hear. Then you will know whether this is someone who look who would be bright to sabotage Biafra if there was any Biafra man the family was fighting. All right. So without wasting much time, I want to bring on uh, our brother. My brother, George Rodriguez, please, I want you to introduce yourself to our guests and tell them how they are going to reach you on social media and how they will follow you in your introduction, please. I want you to tell them the post you are holding now and the post you held in IPOB. Then end it with telling them where they are going to see your social media. The floor is yours now, my brother, as I mute my mic. Uh, yes, uh, once again, uh, Mazi Ijele, I uh, say good evening from here. Of course, I am reaching you all the way from Urugudo, Abo in Delta State. And for our audience around the globe, I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some of you, good night, depending on your time zone. I remain your part, George Unibe, and of course, I come from Abo in Delta State. I will want to kind of uh, introduce myself, not because we are selling personality. By the special grace of the Almighty Creator, I was a member of IPOB before I was expelled. Each time I tell people, I will remind them that I was expelled. And this should call for a question. Why was I expelled? And why am I proud to tell you that I was expelled? A story for another day. Because we saw atrocity in the highest order. And being responsible for the life of our people, we could not compromise because we understand that the difference, there is a distinct line between a fighter and a warrior. One of them is driven by purpose and the other by reason. And as such, it is the truth that brought us out. And that truth is what we will stand by even unto the end. Not everybody will understand situation on ground at the moment. And then as a member of IPUB, I remain one of the longest serving principal officer. At the same time, I was Atali, Unit 1 coordinator. At the same time, I was Rumukurushi Zona coordinator. At the same time, I was Eriatre uh, Obiapo local government coordinator. At that same time, I was deputy state coordinator, River State. At that same time, I was the Nigerian interim national coordinator. At that same time, I was Biafra land national coordinator. At that same time, I was the African rep. 
At that same time, I was a member of the DOS. And may I inform you that I wrote the first bylaw, or do you call it code of conduct, that governed IPOB when Inna and the Kano was arrested first in 2015. I served in full capacity as a proactive member. Our target, our agenda, the reason we came out was simple, to protect the overall interest of our people, nothing more, nothing less. But not until we discover that some criminal elements were just using all of us in the name of Biafra, we begin to see it things we did not bargain for. And this call for question, we have tried to mellow down and find out the truth. We had believed at the initial stage that Nande Kano does not know what was going on. But of course, having carried out forensic investigation, we, we was the one masterminding the Hulu Balu. All around the whole system, the only area we have is to call him to order, question him, ask him questions regarding integrity, regarding our position. It is our right to self-determination. May I remind you, it is our right to civil disobedience. But then, our right cannot encroach into the right of other people. We we'll try to make him understand some of these things. But of course, what will he do? He's a god already. And so he can blackmail you, character assassinate you. And it, it's amazing. Having been a reverend for a, a 17 good years, I gave my life to this cause of truth, righteousness. We have said we are whiter than white. And then along the line, those who know me, even as a general of ourselves, I mess them up. I have a family. I have a life that I have built myself. And it is not my intention to compromise in any way. Why am I saying all these things? Because most people don't even know me. 99.9% .9 of people who know my name don't even know me. But yet, they are very fast to insult George Onibe, do whatever they like. But it's okay. But we must understand that this is about rescuing a nation. This having been said, I still remain George Onibe. Today, I am a member of the Biafra Nation Alliance as well as the Biafra de facto customary government. In the Biafra Nation Alliance, I am the uh, 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 worldwide administrator, head of the administrator Biafra Nation Alliance. And I stand as the Secretary General, Biafra de facto customary government, headed by Alahaji Asari Dokobo. And everything we are doing, if I have to position myself with my brother Ijeli, it is as simple as ABC. We want the best for our people. And this is not something we should be ashamed of. And as we proceed to unveil some of the shenanigans being introduced in the pretense of trying to fight to protect the interests of our people, I want to believe that some of you will be humble in the end. And of course, there are maybe one or two things I will have to say in the course of this program. I stand by, remain George Onibe, like I said, and then uh, I hand over the mic to you, uh, Brother Ijeli. Uh, let's continue from there. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Please, you forgot to tell them where they are going to see you on social media. I want you to mention it now, and you will mention it at the end of the yes. program, so they will know yes. where to meet you and hear your own story from your own mouth. Please, do that one in 30 seconds. Yes. Yes, thank you very much for that reminder. Now, for those of you who are interested in knowing the truth about everything that is going on, because we have made a vow, it is protecting the interests of our people or not. And of course, we present our matter in, in, in diverse means. Most of you will not be able to comprehend the mindset behind everything we are doing, but with time, you're going to appreciate it. If you want to see me, you go to Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio Station. I broadcast there on a regular basis, except there are issues beyond my control. You follow me on Facebook. You can see me on Justice Mariri. You go to YouTube. You see Radio Biafra Extra. And of course, the studio lines are there. 
and you are free to call in and, and make your contribution. You are free to call in and say whatever you have to say. But we cannot forget. It is protecting the overall interest of our people. That is what drives us. Of course, within the preamble of law. And so you can follow me on Facebook. Uh, uh, I have, a, I have a, a page, George Onibe, but it's not very active because Benjamin Madubugu cloned, used my data to open Facebook. So in most cases, when you are talking, you think you are talking to George Onibe. It's Benjamin Madubugu. But then, follow me on Justice Marire. Message me on YouTube, Radio Biafra Extra. And of course, you can get link to my Twitter account and other social media platform. But of course, you inbox us on Biafra Human Rights and Freedom Radio Station. Any of the administrators around the globe will give you the link on how to assess me. Thank you very much. And I stand by once again. Uh, thank you so much, my brother, for that uh, 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 information you've given to our people. Please, right now, let's address the elephant in the room, which is the disappearance of our brother, Chidevera Kuwara. Please, I would like you to use all the time you have, the way you want to do it, how long you want to say it is up to you, except there is anywhere I need to punctuate and get some further information from what will be here, because most of the people here, they know you, they are familiar with your works. They've been following your work since uh, I think 2020 or 2021 in most, in most cases. So please, who is Akwara? How did you get to know him? And by how much do you know him, his family, and then the circumstances that led to his disappearance. The floor is yours, my brother. Yes. Every man, their life ends the same way. It is only details on how they have lived and how they have died that distinguish one man from another. Regarding the issue of Basi Akowara, I am glad I joined this program this evening for the sake of conscious people, our people over there, all our people to know what is really going on. Basi Akowara is a very good friend of mine. I know him very well. But for us to remain objective, and of course be able to pass certain information to our people, the reason why I took it upon myself to come on this platform. Hello, we can't hear you, my brother. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me now? Okay, I can hear you now. Go ahead. Okay. So, like I was saying, by the time the issue of Akowara, the reason why I have to come up this evening to lend my voice to our people to understand what is at stake in a time like this. It's not just about Akowara, though it's a case study for this evening discussion. Each time I go to my archive, I look at data, information of our brothers and sisters whose life has been cut short as a result of misdirective coming from IPOB leadership. I know that one day, everybody will be called to account. Should we say Kuwara is dead? Or do we still soar on the wings of faith and hope, believing that he's missing and he's going to be found one day? Uh, let, let me digress a little bit. We have... Uh, Certain data of missing people. It's over 2,000 here. Yeah? Let me see how many. Hello, my brother. We lost you. We lost you there for a moment. Are you there? Hello. Hello. Guys, please don't be uh, dismayed. Uh, Hello. Can you hear me? 
Yeah, you stop when you say you have that sound with that two thousand people. Yes. I have a data of over 2,000 missing persons. I'm not telling you dead ones. The ones that are dead, buried are differently. Missing people. Because we cannot say Akwara is dead now or Akwara is still missing. Only Inandekano can tell us about Akwara. And then maybe, let's see if the system will allow me to mention some of these names for verification. These people are missing till today. And they always get missing each time you tell Nandekano, each time you tell China Sangoru, each time you tell Chiki Dojem, each time you tell Tony Zulumike, each time you tell Lune Nayanya, each time you tell Austin Abanyim, each time you tell Azaya Oba, each time you tell Choko the former, each time you tell this gangster called DOS that your actions is endangering the life of our people, you'll be missing. Either you are poisoned, either you are killed, either you are set up by security agents, but that is your end. POB, by IPOB member, which they are all aware of. They what killed Chimo Biokafo. I was poisoned in Anambra alongside with Chimo Biokafo. And I discover along the line, killing us was just part of it. Benjamin Madugugu told me in his house in Ehiala, and God know I do not lie, because I'm a man who went to take oath to tell Onandekano we cannot betray our people. The very oath Onandekano did not take. Benjamin Madugugu, they, they asked us to organize, have a meeting with Ohanez Ndibo youth in Anambra. I told Benjamin, look at condition of things. They can, they can kill our people in this instance. And it was shocking. He said, yeah, that is the point. Because when they kill our people, it now attracts international sympathy. And so we, you have to lead us to our death so you can attract international sympathy. And from that very day, I begin to question everything IPOB does. And now let's see if I can be able to uh, uh, mention some of this name and then we continue from there those who can be able to have access to these people should find out who they are we have daniel carlo ago he's missing till today we have ifani chuku carlo he's missing till today we have chigos here cipri Moye, missing till today we have Chokode, Onyekwiri, missing till today. We have Chibuzo, Madubu, Maduago, missing till today. We have Uche Friday, missing till today. We have Emeka, Ekpe Mado, missing till today. We have uh, Chibuikem, missing till today. We have... Uh, are you there, my brother? Hello? Hello? Time. Hello. You raise my brother, this matter. Hello, you become you. a threat. Brother, I had a quarrel with the DOS. Life, and I'm a Ibe gift. And that was Hello? after the incident Can that happened in Abba, where many of our people were killed. I demanded to know how many people that died. Because I, I, we know what is going on. And then Nina Nekanu gave order, which I was not aware of, that they should not allow me to assess the data of the victims. But I said, then, why am I the African rep? Why won't I have information regarding what you are doing? Because I want to believe as a leader, one of your responsibilities is to redeem accountability. A day will come. We will tell the world how we got here. What do I tell them? It is in my position to have these people data. We quarry that very day. But from that very day, they stopped sending those the information to me. But unknown to them, I was connected to the system. 
till today, I still get updates of how many people they are killing. In fact, as of in the past 72 hours, IPOB have killed almost 60 persons. In the Southeast, and I have their record, I have their data, I won't mention name yet for some reason. And now coming back to the issue of Akowara, why the case of Akowara is outstanding regarding issues of being careless with the life of our people. This is how I come to know about Akowara. When Inanne Kano was arrested in 2015, there were confusion everywhere. Quarry everywhere. And we tried our best to maintain peace and order within the family. And then I took notice of people who were working assiduously to protect the interest of our people. I discovered there is a man they call Akowara. I discovered Chimobi Ukafo to mention but a few. But there were always people antagonizing and blackmailing. I tried to investigate. I went close to all of them. And I found out Akuwara and Chimobi, late Chimobi Uka for them. They were doing a lot of things, sensitizing our people regarding the Biafra restoration project. They were going everywhere, making program in, in, in so many fashion trying to unite our people. And then reports were coming constantly that Chimobi Okafor was destroying the struggle and so on and so forth. And I called Chimobi. I said, this is the report I'm getting about you. What is really happening? And I remember her word to me today. Say, I don't report to you. I am not a coordinator. I'm a media. And I say, honestly, I do not expect you to report to me. I just want to make sure that whatever you are doing, that all of us are on the same page. And she has thought I would respond to her in a harsh manner, but I did not. I think that was what made us become friends. And then she keeps telling me about Akowara, always with Akowara, going out, doing program, Waka Waka Biafra, Lady Umenwa, among others. But I never met Akuwara even two years on. Mm -hmm. But I noticed Akuwara was always making peace. Anywhere there is problem in Anambra, anywhere Akuwara was always there making peace. And then until we had a convention in Edo State, where all the coordinators in Nigeria gathered there. And then when our coordinators begin to arrive the venue, somebody called me, being Akuwara, and said, he's around already. And so based on the fact that I've been working with him for a long time without knowing him, I took the liberty to go and bring him to the venue. And I was thinking he's a young man because he was always answering me, sir, 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 sir. I just want to give this detailed information so we know have a, a clip of who this man is. And then when I saw Akuwara, he's an elderly man. Much, much, much older than me. And he said, I'm Akuwara. And I said, sir, you are the one answering me, sir, all these years. He smiled. I said, I'm truly sorry. I have to answer you. Accept that, sir. He was a very humble man. Akuwara was a human. And then from there, having known him one on one, we start working together. And then when Nanda Kanu was released from prison, a lot of blackmail started trending. All you need to do is buy Benjamin Madugugu one liter of fuel. He can kill the whole world for you. And so people were going to give Benjamin fuel, buy drink for him. And then Benjamin starts. If only God know. And then they start using our volunteer. The original volunteer, we are not terrorists. The original volunteer, we are not criminals. The original volunteers were responsible men and women. All of them gathered, their job was simple. 
they act as surveillance. They give information to save the life of our people. They were very coordinated. As I speak to you, 99.9% .9 of those Paunia volunteers, none of them are in IPOB again. They have all gone. Why? Because they now have to begin to use them for criminality. For some reason, I will not mention name. There is one man that Nandekanu came on Radio Biafra and expelled the brother because he had problem with Bright Image. Go and ask Nandekanu what he asked that guy to do. Nandekanu sent somebody to tell that boy from Imo State to go and commit crime. And that boy said, I will not let Nandekanu tell me by himself. Please, and then the Nandekanu came the on crime? radio and said, he's a, he's a womanizer, he's a criminal, we expel him. The one boy minute, is not dead. Brother. He might be listening to this program. One minute, my brother. And what I'm fully time? aware everything that happened. Let me not mention the name of those people involved. At the right time, they will all come on board. And now, at this stage, they have started compromising the volunteer, turning them to criminal, giving them different oaths. Forbidding them from marrying and having children. This was a different ball game. There are some groups that refuse to join these criminal activities. As I'm talking to you, all of them have been hunted down. Majority of them. For example, they have uh, 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 BSS. This group now was divided into different fashions. That was because some of them are loyal to China Sanguru, others are loyal to Benjamin Madubugu, and then you have Obasi group on the other hand, and others have said, this is not the reason we came here. We cannot do this. And so they start fighting themselves. They were killing themselves. Now the Kano could not control that situation. And of course, Akowara, the man of peace, came in. They now and now the canona announce him as the governor general and the feed marshal of Biafra. But he made he gave him another name to be answering. Because you see, we answered our real name. All of them were answering fake, fake name. Akuwara, as a good man, thought he was serving his fatherland. Akuwara went into that issue. He resolved the issue. I know all the names of the people who had this different fraction of BSS. Akuwara was able to unite them. And that is why when my brother Ruby Matthew was talking on your program the other day, I wanted to give him another version, which I have the privilege to do today. Akuwara having united all their uh, uh, volunteer group, Handed them over to Nandekano. And then Nandekano gave him order that a cross section of them should be eliminated. And Akuara said, I will do no such thing. From that day, all of them, from Benjamin Madubugu to China Sangoru, they avoided Akuara. But then we were knowing gradually what was going on. We're beginning to see evidence of fraudulent activities of Unandekano. But Akuwara did not get it. He tried to talk to Chinasa. And those of you who are still IPOB member, those of you who have had problems, go and check Chinasa. The moment they have signed you off, they disassociate with you. All of you know the truth. Most of you will choose to keep quiet. But don't worry. It's going to get to all of you. The earlier you speak up, the better for all of you. They started avoiding Akuwara. Akuwara continued to push. Since Benjamin Madubugu will not listen to Akuwara, since China Sangwaru, all of them start avoiding Akuwara. Akuwara have to go direct to Nandekano. And then Nandekano have his way. The moment they have discussed your issue and how to misplace you, only God will save you. Only God will save you, except you know how they function. 
from that very day, Akowara become a woman. But Akowara did not back down because he believed that Enande Kano does not know what is happening. But he never knew that Enande Kano is the one who is remote controlling everybody. People like Ruby Matthew, among others, Onwukwe Nwanzi, who knew what was happening, the criminality of uh, Obase, for a while, I said, no, this is not why we joined IPOB. Maybe they believed in and the Kano did not know. They raised their voice. They challenged the whole process. And you see, the only thing in and the Kano can do is once he notices you are gaining attention and you want to expose him, he comes on radio and expel you. Take record of all the people they are expelling. Nande Kano have a secret deal with them. Or they know secret about Nande Kano. And so, his greatest weapon is character assassination. He just come out, this man is a criminal. This man is evil. For instance, by way of digress. If Nande Kano can come out and tell you that Uche Mefo sold Radio Biafra to Nigeria, my brother, a civil man, a civil man, you see Uche Mefo as evil, my brother, you are in trouble. You are in trouble. If I have to hold on to my Igbo identity, if I have to believe in the ideology behind Igbo reason, it is because of people like which you come from a for. A man so loyal, we thought he don't have sense, for Nande Kano, and then Nande Kano can come on radio and tell you that which I'm a first sold radio Biafra to Nigeria, and all of you swallowed it, most of you rather swallowed it, my brother, there is nobody saving the hand of Fernando Kano. But Akwara, they didn't know this. We are looking for ways to inform that this is what is happening. It is easy to, for them to say, eh, eh, you are a saboteur. When they lie against you, only God will save you. And that is why everything they have said today, we are questioning them, and there must be a moment of re-evaluation. And so those of them who are in the security of a platform, who have known the truth and refused to compromise, all of them were set up. John Chukuma from Delta State is back, but all of them can't talk, because IPOB will send them and induce you with money. If you cannot save yourself, you, you, they can kill you. I know what I go through their hand. But I have told them I am their destiny and I am their doom. I knew these things will happen. But it is not in their place to take my life. So they cannot. That is why I'm still here. So John Chukuma is out. They must have bamboozled him. But let John Chukuma come forward. He's a new mama. Let him come forward and tell us what happened. And let me correct some impression before we go back to Akowara. There are some rumors on air. Anambra people believe it's a boy people. That is unknown government. And a boy people believe, no. Let us be very careful. Nandekano is setting everybody up. Both those of you using in Nandekano and those of you Nandekano is using. You people don't know the evil that is coming on later on. Go and ask John Chukuma, what happened to the Ebony indigents that were arrested in Delta State? 46 of them, where are all of them? Because they know something. And so, to shut them down, Nanda Kano must betray all of them. Finally, there is a reason why John Chukuma was released. But we pray that that same reason Let's believe Akwara is not dead, that they will still bring him out. And so now the Kano to get rid of Akwara came on Radio Biafra and said, Akwara is a kidnapper. Ruby Matthew is a kidnapper. Onwukwe Nwanze is a kidnapper. He mentioned their name by talking about Biafra. We make ourselves open enemy to the Nigerian state. And then we find solids in IPOB, our own Biafra. 
and then our own Biafra will come and announce our name on radio and tell evil Nigeria that we are evil. So who is actually evil here? And the God Nandekano, the Almighty God, Creator Nandekano, came on radio and said, "Yes, there is one Akwara. He's a kidnapper. He has Siana. He's kidnapping people. He lives in 43 Ojoko Kumo Street in Ware." There is another one, Ruby Matthew. Go and look at Ruby Matthew. If I sneeze, the, the, the breeze from my nose will carry him away. Now the canon said Ruby Matthew is a kidnapper. Go and look at Ongu Kwewanze. He's a kidnapper. People who work almost 25 hours in a day, they are kidnapper. Why? These people refuse to compromise. But look at all those tools of Funa and the Kano. They are betraying all of them. Where is Elijah? Elijah, where is Elijah? I understand he's a saboteur now. Now, for those of you who may not know much about Akuara, the first protest we had, we marched from Abo to Enugu, in Asaba. A pregnant woman of about three or four months was stampeded. And she lost the baby. That was our wife. When our women were arrested in Imo State during the era of Roger Sukurocha, Akwara uh, wife was there. And so Akwara wife, Akwara son, Akwara daughter, Akwara entire life is built by IPOB. But how can Nanekano say he's a kidnapper? And then the next morning, Akwara was picked up. It's two years now. No Akwara. Like I said, I have over 2,000 names of missing Biafrans that followed Nandekano. Where are they? Go and look at all of them. These people have challenged the gangster called DOS. These people have challenged Nandekano atrocity. These people have questioned what they are doing in the name of freedom fighting. But they say we are whiter than white. They say on Uruben one day also. They say Anyana to Ase, but they lied. Akwara believed, and he did the right thing, and that is his reward. So I still want to believe they have not killed Akwara. Akwara daughter is there. Akwara wife is there. They set up other people's children. Then Bright Chimeze have taken his children to Canada. Because he proposed that I threatened them to kill his children. Bright team is here. And they are sending you inside the bush. Akwara was more loyal and faithful to Nandekano than those of you in the bush today. But don't worry. It will get to you. So everything about Akwara from beginning to the end. Nandekano no. Chike Dozium no. China Sangoru no. The DOS they know. Because what they do, they set people up and they use you to sideline them. I saw evil. I understand more is dead now. More and Indonesia, all from Anambra, around the Kusigo area of Anambra State. We are kidnapped by Obase. And somebody saw them. They were going to bury them alive. And I called Obase. I said, what am I hearing? He said, onye nduse, onye nduse. Onye nduse, you people should bury him alive. He said, no, China Sangoru is aware. I called China Sangoru. I said, what am I hearing? You know, I said, I don't know. Let me, let me call them. Let me call them. That is what Seven Dune Soku and Akuwara, including Chijoku Otaji. Fulani Hesman didn't kill us who. Boko Haram did not attack us. So it is IPOB. The same IPOB we bled for. The same IPOB under and, and, and the canoe we lived for. The same IPOB we said, let us enhance on uh, everything good about our people. So the issue of Akuwara, Akuwara become a criminal because he refused to kill for Nan the Kano. Because that is what Nan the Kano does. Asenan the Kanu who poisoned me. 
Now they cannot send me to a meeting. Somewhere around slaughter in Port Harcourt. In that meeting, they asked people to follow me. They followed me to my house. And when they got to my house, they allowed me to go inside. They owned my generator house. They went to my generator house and switched off the generator. And just the way God will have it. My son was going to check what happened. I was moved. I asked him not to go. I went out there myself. Do you know they put andromyelin gas in my generator house? This bomb they call pathway. Just to kill me, the videos are there. The pictures are there. I didn't die. I suffered almost third degree fire bomb from the andromyelin gas. The bomb they put in my generator as IPOB. And when they poison you, they are the one taking you to where you are taking treatment. They'll be videoing you. Look at him. Look at George Onibe. They'll be snapping you. I went to Enugu to hold meeting with certain individual. I will not mention their name. As directed by Nandekano. From there, they use the SS. Follow me to the house to set me up. We understand that the prince of the world are loose against us, but they have found nothing wrong in us. So, there are more people. I don't know whether to say Nigeria. I don't know whether to say Biafra. I don't know whether to say Igbo people. Tell Onande Kanu to stop killing Igbo youth. Tell Onande Kanu to stop killing Igbo youth. He's not looking for Biafra. He's looking for money. He's looking for relevance. And they are going to waste another generation. Akuwara is not a kidnapper. Akuwara is not a thief. Akuwara was somebody who believed that the life of an Igbo man can be better. Akwara is from Imo State. And only now they can't know what he did to Akwara. And as for other people, he mentioned their name. Blackmailed them on air, lied against them, invaded their privacy by calling the name of their house address. All of them are on the run today. Two years on, Ruby Matthew is still on the run. Two years on, Onkwe Wanze is still on the hiding. Now they can pay small, small criminal to set us up. The last attempt they made, and I let them know, I know what you people do. It was in Anambra, Oba. We went, they, they invited me for a program, and I said, I'm not going there. But I didn't tell anybody. And then they called me, where are you now? I said, I'm very close. Just few bidding away. In less than 10 minutes, I dropped that call. They attacked that house. They killed that man. That pastor in Oba, they killed him because they were looking for George Onibe. This is organized by Nande Kanu and China Sanguru. So everything, atrocity you have seen, false disappearance, 99.9% .9 of IPOB dying, it is a deliberate act orchestrated by Nande Kanu and his gang. Only God knows what they are looking for. And now I will leave it at that because I am a man on that oath. Now they cannot take me to two different shrines. And I took the oath. And I told the juju, if why they brought me here is to shut my mouth when they sell our people, you will kill them. But if I betray them, you will kill me. But if you first to kill me or kill them when they do that, my God will kill all of them. This is how we have been messing up generation after generation. And so we say, under our watch, nobody will be allowed to sell the next generation of our people. So tell Onande Kano, where is Akuwara Basil? Ask Onande Kano, after the announcement on Radio Biafra, where we worship, Radio Biafra, where we worship, Chuko Kikabiyama, where is Basil Akuwara? And now you see, when these people are investigated, when you question them, interrogate them, their hypocrisy will be exposed. I just have to bring up these two things. Akwara is a criminal. Akwara is a thief because he refused to kill some group that refused to compromise along with him for Nanda Kano. Akwara said no. That is when Akwara become enemy. Ask China Sangwuru 
why do you avoid picking Akwara call? Ask Benjamin Madubugu, why do you people start avoiding Akwara and three days later, now the Kano told you is a kidnapper. I will leave it at that. But of course, more revelation is coming up. If I go beyond that, I'm going to call some names of individuals who will run for the rest of their life. That's why I shall hand over the mic to you, my brother. Uh -huh. Thank you, my brother. At some point in your, in your uh, speech, I was trying to interject, but your spirit was so high, you didn't hear me. Like, I want to ask you one question. When you were saying that thing, you said I cannot hear you. I can't to... hear you. Oh, you can't hear me. Okay, let me drop you. Can you leave and come back? Oh. Okay, go ahead. Let's see. Can you hear me now? Yes, go ahead. It's manageable. Okay. I said, let me come closer and raise my voice so you can hear me well. I said, you talked about one boy you said Nam the Kano went after and his group because they told him to commit a crime. You forgot. You didn't mention the guy's name. I don't care about his name, but please, I need you to tell us the crime, the exact crime they told him to commit and when you talked about they tried to bury people alive, I want you to bring up the case of, of uh, Abambo, Cosmos, George, and the other person they wanted to bury alive. Then the other two boys, they said they tied to, uh, uh, to, a tie to trees in the bush and stabbed them to death. Please, carry on. Yes, if, if, you, if we go the first one, issue of Cosmos, George, and Abambo, it was trending then that uh, it was me and Mazime for. But between God who made heaven and earth, we know nothing about that. First of all, when I was arrested by the DSS, I spent 60 days in DSS detention, after which I was arraigned before a magistrate high court in River State. And then DSS didn't show up again and the case was struck off. But before then, I was taken to the maximum prison in Port Harcourt, where I spent about three days before my bill condition were perfected. When I got to the maximum prison in Port Harcourt, information already has been dispatched that African rep is being transferred to the maximum prison. And the person who actually passed on this information was Cosmos George. When I got to the prison yard, I was treated like a king. I was supposed to sleep in the toilet that very first night. But information came that they should keep me in governor's lodge. So from the night I entered Mazimon prison in Port Harcourt, they gave me a bed. And then the next morning, they allowed me to walk freely. It was Cosmos George that paid this bill. It was Cosmos George that made this connection. It was Cosmos George that gave me access to shave my head after how many months. It was Cosmos George that allowed me to have access to feeding after how many months. And then, if this is the only thing Cosmos George has done for me, why would I want him dead? They still believe I have heard the word that has happened to Cosmos George. But I'm using this opportunity to clear that issue. Issue of Cosmos George. It wasn't on the canal that set all of us up. Ruse Blue Jack was there. Cosmos George was there. We mobilized most of our people from the Niger Delta region and brought them together and handed over to Nandekano. They were inaugurated. And then Nandekano starts setting all of us up. Go and look at what Isima is doing. Go and look at what Fate Ogala is doing. Go and look at what Efe uh, is doing. Uh, Josephine Erewa is doing. You see everybody fighting against each other. That is how uh, Marachi and Nande Kanu told Cosmos George that they gave me 400,000 naira to buy laptop for him. I don't have laptop. A laptop. How can they give me money to buy laptop for somebody who's just joined the struggle? They set all of us up. Now, Cosmos George and Okwambo has seen maybe a level of evil in IPOB and decide to disassociate and start working with Radio Biafra International. They were trying to mobilize our people. 
just like every other pro Biafran group. But IPOB, led by Nandekano, under the directive of China Sanguru, made sure that nobody gather. So, Akwambo and, uh, and uh, 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 Cosmos George, we are going to sensitize our people regarding the Biafra restoration project when they were attacked by IPOB member. Like I said, most of these volunteers, they know the truth already and they are not part of Nandekano. And it will be unfair. It's like I'm exposing them. I know the coordinator that masterminded that thing because he told me, oh, Garcia, then they call your name. Why? You don't know anything. I say, you don't see him now. So it's not the kind of that asks them to kill them and bury them alive. But there are people who have discovered the truth already. That is why they spared Cosmos George and Okwambo. And then you go back to uh, uh, Anambra. I mentioned those ones' name, Ndune Soku, and the more. There are many of them, but these are the ones I have first-hand information about, and I saved their life. Obasi said it's China Sangwaru that sent him. China Sangwaru said it's Sonia Ndu that sent him. And I told them nobody carry out such instruction under my jurisdiction. That will not happen. I said it bluntly and they knew it will spell doom that is what seven donate so cool and a more like i said it's like a more is dead in the so cool is still alive they have to give them oath in never to speak what have happened to them they give them oath that is how now the kind of function and so uh, uh with the issue of uh, cosmos george the issue of Ndune so cool and buried alive then the guy in Imo State, somebody told him that the man they cannot ask them to go and rob a bank to show their capacity that they can terrorize Biafra land. And the boy said, Tell the man they cannot to come and tell me. So the boy took the message back, and you know what the man they cannot will do now. That is when that boy become enemy. The next time they set it up, they used Bright Team Asia to set that guy up. And so those idiots in IPOB who don't have sense, as they are listening now, they know who I'm talking about. But I will leave it at that. That is how they expelled the guy. Disgrace him. Almost destroy his marriage. Frustrate his life. The young man have to relocate and hide. But he's alive anyway. Thank you. Uh -huh. Please, when you talk, you just talked about destruction of marriage right now. There was a time the man the colonel mentioned that you were sleeping with one woman in Plateau State, Josh. Please tell us what transpired and where that woman is right now and what happened to her marriage, please. Yes, the woman they call her uh, Josephina or Sophina. She's the then the Plateau State woman leader. These are the few things I know about her. And now, as the Nigerian National Coordinator, I traveled around Nigeria, mobilizing our people from the west to the north to the south. Everywhere I was, everywhere. I have met that woman two times all my life, and the way I normally function. I go by night bus. By the time, if it's in the northern Nigeria, if I live by night, I get there in the afternoon or towards evening. And then before I could take my shower and get ready for the meeting, it's night already. And once we finish our night program, I take the next bus and leave that location. I never, I don't even know the woman's second name, but she's a woman. We talk on phone. Everybody, we talk on phone. And then along the line, there is a guy they call Obuago, who is from Afari Beku, the Kano brother. He was the one who originated the whole thing. And after I was expelled, they start carrying rumors that I'm sleeping with that woman. They were broadcasting it that I'm sleeping with people's wife. 
But what they were targeting was to destroy my marriage. But my wife knows me. My wife was my girlfriend for 11 years before we married. So anything she does not know about me today, after almost 22 years of marriage, then she will not know anything again. And so she knows me. So, but they were doing it to destroy my marriage, which did not work. But what happened eventually was that the woman started having problems with the husband. And the husband said, so this is now the night meeting where you they go. You say, now they do IPOB, they do Biafra. This is how they frustrate the woman till the woman died. The woman is dead. The woman died. IPOB killed the woman. We actually got a lawyer for that woman. Some of my people in diaspora hired a lawyer for this woman and said, let's push this matter. IPOB know how to harass people and intimidate people. So having harassed her, the, the woman is from Anambra. They pressure the husband. The husband frustrated this woman. And in less than three weeks, the woman died. She's dead. Now, to know the truth, Kenneth Ogani is the Northern Rep. I cannot enter North without clearance from him. Then, uh, uh, John Paul Madwabuchi is the Western Rep. I cannot enter their jurisdiction without clearance from them. They know the truth. Even Baristo Jofo know all this truth because he was acting as a Northern Rep. Baristo Jofo is who I'm telling you. But let's leave it at that. That is what they do. Now, IPOB have some strategy. They will tell you that uh, either you are a drunker, a go go man, or you are a thief, or they tell you that you are a womanizer. This is how they function. They target your family. They target your personality. They just, they want to make you hopeless. But I told Nande Kano when they were planning for me. That is why I continue to respect you, Choka, for me. For I don't tell them anything. I'll be looking at them. And one day I called Mazi I said, look at what your brother is doing. He said, I'm not sure this is possible. Well, have, have you responded? I said, no. He said, why? I said, because this is how it's going to be. He said, but then respond. And I responded. He saw the truth. I have three different letters. Mazi Mefo wrote to Chike Dozium, another criminal, said they're fighting for Biafra. Why are you people trying to victimize George Onibe? Why are you people doing this guy this thing? That, I think that is where he become enemy. He refused. That is what they do. Once they finish your matter, and now they cannot hire people. I have text messages. I have audio recording. One of them called me from Ivory Coast. I said, I've been asking you what problem do you have with Nandekano? You refuse to say. But what is going to happen to you? IPOB will descend on you in the coming days. Don't see anything. But of course, they are not in the position to tell me when to talk and when not to talk. So now they cannot hire people. He told them to rubbish me until I cannot come out again. I'm not on live video because I'm not led. But very soon, I will be led. Because I want to be sure of what I'm doing. So what I'm saying is that that is how they do. They want to deform your image. That is character assassination. They want to destroy your marriage. They even trace your bank account. A lot of people are working with them. A lot of politicians are working with them. A lot of people in the bank, are, they can compromise everything. But they, all of them will be exposed. Because Eleken Tioba, since they have learned how to shoot without missing, my brother, we have learned to fly without patching. That is what they do. People were calling me, so you are sleeping with this woman? But the truth... you there hello my brother hello hello don't worry guys he will be back hmm. he will be back i don't understand if you guys are following us i don't know if you are following what's going on here they will use people blackmail them 
that man, that woman from Plateau State, is this the nonsense black name? And I know the type of pressure they must have mounted on the husband. They must have circulated the news in their village, in their meetings, everywhere. Now, the man left the woman. Not only did this man leave this woman, the woman died of heartbreak. Three weeks. Three weeks. This, and believe me, most if she, that thing was being said by people she never knew before, or people she was against, she may not care. But it came from the same people she wasted her life, energy, time, and money. The people, imagine they, they set up their meetings at midnight so their members can go to their businesses, come back, and have their meetings. And they say it's for security purposes. That time, the DSS and the army, they can't mobilize. Okay? They can't mobilize them to come and arrest them. The same security measure is what they exploited. Our brother, George Olibe, will be back. So let me check if he's back to his... Okay, he's not back yet. I will call him. Are you getting what is going on here? Out of heartbreak, that woman died. No, you people are going to hear about more deaths. More deaths, more kidnappings. So many things. Uh, you are going to hear so many things. Hold on, I'm trying to call George only back. Okay, I think he's back. He's back, he's back. Mm -hmm. Hello, my brother, welcome back. I believe you can hear me better now. Yeah, so sorry, my battery almost disappointed me. Okay, yes. no problem. Thank you. Please, yeah. ahead, please. Let me say we went into something now. There are these things, people are disappearing. Sometimes you talk about them using people in the back. I know that one a long time ago. All these politicians that are they are working for, they have bankers working for them too, that are banking their money so they can use them to it's not it's very difficult. So let it not seem as if it's one clandestine thing that will be giving them praise over nothing. It's something, and that's why I think I'll give my money back. No, I have the ways I save my money. Other ways. All right, even if it's in the bank, it may not be my name. You don't know how many ATM cards I'm using. That's, I, I'm advising every other person. Find a way you diversify your funds because one day these people can get to power and seize your finances, render you useless. But that one is by the way. My brother, they are using people like police to arrest people so easily. I believe that one will be uh, can easily be traced to the Kanu sister, and then Nakanu is in the police. And I also hear they are using DSS and the Akwara issue. I heard it was at the DSS that the lawyer, before he was like definitely threatened out of the case, was going to meet them. And I heard one story about a, this a Jofo you talked about. Is a Jofo just a lawyer or a part of the scam and is his wife or ex-wife or baby mama a DSS personnel? Please inform us. Barista Ujofo was first of all employed as a lawyer but he got involved in IPUB activity. He can be pretending his first wife that have his first child is a DSS woman. He was the one in charge of Northern Affair. Go and ask Kenneth Ogan, a Northern Rep. Maybe he's doing his illegal work by calling IPOB meeting to address IPOB member. Maybe that is what he's doing. You know, logically, when he is a coordinator of Abuja and you now query him in the law court, why are you getting involved? He says he's giving legal advice. So he can logically pull himself out of the hook. But of course, Kenneth Ogani, not a rep, is aware. He's the one who calls meeting. 
with one media guy they call Oyindo Vito. They are the one who will go them to set people up. So his activity goes beyond the legal practitioner. And like I said, his first wife that has his first child is a DSS woman. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, please carry on. Yeah, so that is it. He gets involved in IPOB activity, but he can actually deny and tell you he's a legal practitioner. So he's practitionalizing them. <laughs> and then, like I said, his first wife, because he has many wives, is a DSS woman. Let me leave okay. it at that. Uh -huh, that's nice. Now, back to the killings. And the guys, as you know, since his uh, first wife is a DSS personnel, and we know how our people in DSS and police behave. Generally, the DSS can be used to threaten and intimidate people, but when they see a personnel giving them information on an IPOB member, being that IPOB has been prescribed, they would act, but they wouldn't know that this one they are arresting is ex exposing this camp or has left the thing, just like Nen Nakano could be used as a police to trap someone down. But that's by the way. Back to the Achilles, my brother. Who is Prophet Moko? What do you know about him and how did he die? Well, sincerely speaking, the issue of uh, Prophet Moko, I did not pay more attention on that man because then I was among those people who believed in the canon to be an angel. So I don't know much about his death. That's that's fair. That's fair. But me, yeah, I know the man made a video. This is the fir very first Biafra spiritual leader. Before this master prophet, this group, now the canon's uh, brother-in-law, they uh, adopted the name. The guy came out weeks before the 2019 election and said that now the canon and his people, that is Benjamin the Maduku Bako, contacted them and wanted them to campaign for PDP article. And he said this is not what he left his business and life in Lagos for, to come down here to do, because he left everything he was doing in Lagos, went back to Enugu. At the end of the day, after some days, they went and slit the man's throat. According to Ruby Matthew, I'm hearing that the guy that they used to slit the man's throat, they've killed him. And I believe they killed him to bury the secret. And this is what I believe to be true. I don't need, I don't need any uh, 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 magical mirror or water to know this is what happened. Please, my brother, I want to get into the issue of Madame Social. Who is Madame Social? How well did you know her and what happened to her? What did that UOB people do to her? Please, the floor is yours. <coughs> Madame Social was a member of IPOB. A very committed one, a generous woman who believed in humanity. When Nanda Kano was arrested, she in the group of other women, they constantly visit Abuja. The woman was so kind, taking responsibility for any need IPUB Anambra State under Chijoko Daji will have. She funded many projects. And then until Lena and the Kano came back from prison and politics entered everything, the real mission was exposed. So those who thought that, ah, we are fighting for our rights, began to see things that are not, you know, you can't, you can't even visage such atrocity can be going on. They started questioning. They started asking questions. I think that is where Madame Shusha, having been a key member, kind of believed that she has her own say and push certain matter by turning down evil, exposing certain criminal individuals like Obase, among others. But they never knew that uh, she's a threat because once you say the truth, you become a threat. You better be lying. When the kind of say lie, lie. And then you are holy, you are watching Nikki. 
And then at that stage, before Madam Shesha will know what is going on, they have tagged her. And now in the DOS, in the DOS, they brought up the issue of Madam Shesha. And as a member, I was there. Obasi, Onwan Tuegu, and the rest reported Madam Shosha and one other lady that they were carrying knife and chasing volunteers. If you see the lie, they lied against Madam Shosha that day. I now told them, I now told Chike Dozem, because Chike Dozem now was telling us what they told him, having investigated the matter. I told her, I said, you, you people are very wicked. Chike Dozem, are you telling me your mother can carry a knife at her age and start chasing young Tisha is an elderly woman. If I thought we can believe it of another person, not Madam Shusha now. How can they tell you that Madam Shusha carry knife and chasing volunteers? That was when they took it upon themselves to look at who Madam Shusha is and they saw she's an elderly woman. But before then, Obasi then have kidnapped her, took her jeep, drove her to one secondary school in Anambra. After torturing her, only God knows what they did to her that night. They blindfolded her, dumped her in the school compound there with her vehicle. It was people that came to rescue her at about 2 a.m. in the night. Since then, Madame Sosha has run for her life. So that is the story of Madame Shosha. A lot of things are involved. But of course, let me leave it at that. Okay. The day they kidnapped Madame Sosha, there were other men they kidnapped that day. They kidnapped some men there. Please, um, I heard some ear-tingling stories about what happened to that, those men. I don't know if you are at uh, liberty without mentioning any worst name. Are you at liberty to confirm or deny that ugly incident we heard that happened to them. Yes. One of those men that were kidnapped alongside with Madame Susha, as I'm talking to you, the injury he, he sustained that very night has turned to whether cancer or what do I say? It is like the man is a diabetic patient. And so he sustained injury. Since then, check that time to today. The last time I saw the man, the leg was swelling. It's a very simple man, but he does not know the consequence of what is happening to him. The leg is decaying already. He looks like he's a diabetic patient. One of them I saw. And then the other one is from, it's my town man. I don't hear his name anymore. He was one of my town people. Now they cannot hire to, to mess me up. They've messed him up. He has run to data now. So uh, let's leave it at that so that because these people are born again now, they are repented. They now know the truth. So if I begin to drag them back, it's, it's not very good anyway. I heard one rumor Go that ahead. a group led by a group of uh, these uh, ESN guys, led by Obasi, carried some men away. It's Lion Squad. Obasi, they Lion call Squad. themselves then Lion Squad. I heard they, so from Lion Squad, they became ESN. Please, I heard that uh, they carried uh, some men and raped some of those men. Is that true? That they did what? That Obasi boys once uh, took some men and those men were raped. I don't know about uh, that one. The only one I know is one woman from a boy that lives in Anambra State. It was on social media some time ago. They videoed yeah. the woman and they were telling us that uh, Fulani headsman raped the woman and the daughter. And the woman said so. And after which, the woman disappeared. But the truth was that it is Obasi and his men that went and raped the woman and the daughter inside their house. Because the woman is a, somebody that talks against IPOB. They raped that woman and her daughter inside their sitting room. After doing that, they gave them oath and banished that woman from Anambra State. The woman is from Ebony. 
it was trending on on social media they were saying ah it's full and yes man it's full and yes man maybe your boss and his men are the full and he hates men that is what i know about some of their sales escapees oh that's that's so great okay right now i want to uh post uh some uh, post the link for some people to come on if they have any contribution or any question they want to ask you so you are at liberty to answer them you are at liberty to not answer them but before i i will do that i want you to tell us all the while you were having these issues with IPOB and their leadership, how many times did you take it to that, bring it to the attention of Unam the Kano? And do you think he, he, I don't know he knows anywhere. How many times did you bring it to his attention and what was his excuse not to act? And did you leave IPOB because you wanted money? Please just wrap up everything about them, the ones you forgot and the, uh, before. You can add them. You can use 10, 15 minutes to do it. Meanwhile, I just want to post the link now for those of you who have questions or those of you who, are, who have contribution. So I will let our brother go. I don't want him to stay uh, too long here. Okay. My people, go ahead. Go ahead, my brother. Yes. Uh, for the issue going on, it has lasted almost four years. Mazio Bidio Bienu painfully try to advise him and the colonel, you are getting out of the way. He won't listen. Mazu Chuka for me for for four years, they have worked internally. Dr. Okado, for four years, maybe more, they have worked internally trying to talk sense to and the colonel. They also discover he was responsible. It's just like the game they are playing with Simeon Ekpa. Simeon Ekpa is a recruit. He's hired to change narrative. It is those working with him that will pay dearly for it. That is, by the way. Now, the issue of Fernando Kano, he knows the truth about me. But he just can't compromise me. First of all, where I have a fallout with him, he said we need to go to Arochiku and take out so nobody betrays anybody. I said, okay. He's every principal officer. We went. I went. And after the oath, I came back. Now the colonel said, no more oath again. That they have changed the shrine to another shrine. From Abenopabe to Igwe Kala. And Igwe Kala is managed by one woman, Alilui Anwachuku, who is just Yahoo Yahoo. But what I discovered there that now the kind of intention is to tie some of us with oath so that we cannot do anything as many people are afraid of. And then others going to Igwe Kale are not under oath. Today you see IPOB killing IPOB, eating IPOB, killing themselves. That is because those that are not under oath are the ones killing the ones under oath. The ones under oath are afraid to respond so that oath will not kill them. <laughs> And China Sanwaru called me and said, and the canoe said, uh, no more oath taken. Uh, that, uh, no, I told China Sanwaru, uh, Lilo and Wachi, others has not gone to the oath. I thought everybody is going to go to oath. China Sanwaru said, and the canoe said, we should stop the oath, and uh, that those people are prayer warrior people. They don't take oath. And I asked China Sanwaru, so if these people, Shabbatarian or Arabatarian, are spiritual people they don't take oot what am i so all those pastors who has joined me to take this oot what are they what do i tell them now the canon i said okay uh you people should be doing it small small i said now nah, you the same pressure and the canon did not allow me to rest until he placed me under oot that same pressure everybody must take the oot too I played one of it just Hello, my brother, we lost you there. Hello. Hello. Hello, George. I think uh, we lost him there. He will be back. 
let me remove him from the studio. So uh, I'm coming. So he will come back. I think uh, there is a problem with uh, his uh, his uh, battery again. So I want to bring a guest. We have a guest already. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, my brother. Hello. Onwuka, can you hear me? Ah. <laughs> hey, I believe our brother will be back. Our brother will be back. Uh, those of you that, okay. Uh, okay, our brother is back. Hello, my brother. Good evening. Uh, you welcome, Mike and Angie. Good evening. Because belittle, belittle to obey. Well, well done. Do you have questions or contribution? Hmm. <laughs> I'm speechless, honestly. But uh, make a little contribution. In fact, ah. Oh. Oh, your honey. So, um, I'm too emotional right now. Um, and just get out of self. Uh, people don't say they, they don't see what the problem is. You know, when these things we've been talking about, it is like a religion. They get you emotional. They put you where they want you to be. They turn you against. They use you as a, an instrument. Yes. How can you tell me that you want me, you want something for me, which everybody wants mm -hmm. in that aspect? Then you turn around to start killing those people you are telling that you're bringing something to them. Now the canon will never know peace. His entire generation mm -hmm. will pay for this. Say, to me, say, say. He, he I don't care who is this looking at me or who sees my face. None of the kind of pay for this with his life. He dare not get out of that DSS. His entire family, a more powerful, his brother, that's the coordinator, that's anybody, everybody that does everything. I also stole my brother's car in America in the name of Freedom Fighter or Freedom Thief. They will pay for it. Some my neighbor. I, I bet you I'm ready to do anything to get that asshole back. He's going to pay for this. Anyone that's involved in this mess will go down. Yes. No. I don't care. They look at me, they see me. I, they see they should wait for me at home. I'm coming. Yeah. If anybody does anything, they will know who is who. These people are trying to mess up the entire re region for the sake of their own selfishness. None they can't, but I'm on none they can't. Don't they got what we are near none they are one they got. I got one they can't go on one. I got even I get a care and a jeep while they are the holy bull and none they can't must not escape this. His entire family, I got bull hawk. Yes, bro. I'm not look before I used to be looking at things and everybody wants it, everybody wants it. Yes, we want it, but can we do it in the way that the land will be pleased about it? Yes. Taking out everybody is not the way to go about this thing. Who are you fighting for? Apparently, they are fighting yes. for their own stress, for their own stupid, selfish interest. Yes. They shut down the whole Ali Ibo. For one week, I was almost mad. Nothing couldn't happen. You said you're fighting. Who are you fighting for? Or you're killing people in the name of fighting. Look at what, they, what happened uh, uh, today in Imo State. Shooting these people. And cover the posted online. This is India. Uh, ga, 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 let me play the video. Please don't forget. To, let me play it for people to see first. Let me play. PVC. We are campaigning, asking people to get their PVCs. Soon they will tell you, oh, the houses are winning because they are registering their goods. They are registering their you children. Blame them. Yeah. Those who want it more will go for it. And you are killing your own people that want to register. How many Igbos are registered? We, during census 2006, Uwazuke told us not to do that. The Afra is coming. We will do the Afra census. Today, the Afra is coming. Now, now, 
Now, your people, my brother, let me play the video for people to see what you are talking about. For those of them who haven't seen it, let me play the video. Be there. Stay there. Don't go anywhere. After the video, I want you to talk. After the video. Just watch. Are you? These are the stupid people. We are fighting for to have your freedom. They are here. Making votes. They are here. Planning for election. Today is 14th of April. Today is 14th of April. Today is 14th of April. Yes. We have sent a word to you. They killed that person. That was when they shot the INEX staff. Let me play the longer one. That shot, those shots you heard, was when they killed the INEX staff. And I've shared the full video on our group. Let me play the second one now, my brother. After the second one, now you can you can come in. As you can see, these are the stupid people we are fighting for to have their freedom. They are here making votes. They are here planning for election. Today is 14th of April. Today is 14th of April. Today is 14th of April. Yes. yes. Look at them. This is their boss. This is their boss. Today is 14th of April. We have given them a warning. We have given them a warning. We don't want any more election. We don't want any more election. Next time. Next time. We are going to set this place in place. You think we are joking? You can see this is the machine. You can see it. This is the machine for the printing. Our thousands of voters card here. We have won them. They couldn't listen. They think we are joking. We the UGM. Yes. This is a lesson to everyone. Everywhere you are. Wherever you are seeing this video. Take this as a lesson. Because we are going to come for you wherever you are. My brother, please weigh in on this. The second part of the video came from Imo State. The first one where they killed people, someone and uh, kidnapped two people came from Anambra State. Please weigh in on it. What are we supposed to say about it? That is this a freedom fighting? Is this how to bring freedom to people? In Western world, when you're bringing freedom to people, you educate them about what you're trying to give them. Let them understand why it is so important to do this in a way that nobody gets hurt. You coordinate the people, you save them, you protect them, you give them what it is that tastes like freedom. This is not freedom, this is criminality. You're taking the life of, look at that child now is traumatized for the rest of his life or her life. You, did you call, is this a freedom? This is not freedom, this is criminality and intimidation, stealing and traumatizing the people and you call it freedom. That is not freedom. That is not freedom. Nandi Kano and his entire generation will be known for this and they will pay for it. I don't know why people are still talking nonsense about this. I was in no worry. Last year I came back in January, precisely. Went to fix my car. What the mechanic there was shouting about, free, uh, Biafra is coming. See, guy, you better take care of your life. Biafra is not coming anywhere. After speaking to him, he came back to his sense. He was looking at me dumbfoundedly. One man there was like, how did I have all this information? How did I even know that? I said, do you need somebody to educate you about what is good and what is evil? They think because now the cannot lives in London, talking junk, that is bringing them freedom. Now the cannot is an asshole. Never met anybody. He doesn't know anybody. Everything he's been doing so far was fabricated. If you oh, they are oppose him, he will descend on you just like this guy. Which I mean, is so lucky to get away from him. Whoever is listening to this program, forget about Biafra. Fix your place. Educate yourself. Have sense, common sense. Biafra is not coming. It will never ever come. The least that will happen is regional government. That is it. Don't let anybody fool you. Biafra is nowhere coming. 
educate your kids. Tell the children the truth. People should get away from this nonsense of Biafra. It's not coming. People, it is not. Let's hold those we sent out to represent us in Nigeria setting responsible. They are the people holding us back, not anyone. Fulani does not know your back of your house. They live in the bush does not mean they are coming to kill you. They have their own level. They have their own way. They themselves are suffering from the same thing going on in Nigeria. Forget about political propagandas. Political leaders, although we are not elected, they were chosen. Ekozi as his prime example. Rocha Sagbu Awosa, Motoga Babu, is another person. Hold those ones in the local level, hold them responsible. My local government interim chairman is my friend. I go on him like I don't even know him. Recently, I fought him. He might be listening, or perhaps anywhere he sees this uh, uh, clip, he will understand what I'm talking about. They collect this money, what are they doing with it? And you're they are telling you Biafra is coming. When Biafra came, uh, this will happen, that will happen. You don't give what you don't have. Who is going to give you freedom? These people going to give you freedom and govern you well? Man, they're bringing hell. You think Nigeria is bad? If this criminality Biafra came, it would be more than hell. Somalia, they're talking about is destabilizing the Igbo, Igbo land. Look at what they're doing. You call this freedom? I'm sorry for whoever believes this nonsense. But in the canon, oh man. This land he will march will never ever protect him again. He, said, he will go down. He will go down. The entire Igbo land has frustrated. They have forsaken him. He must go down. He must pay with this. They yeah. stole from me, stole from my family. After the contribution I made towards the uh, uh, so called uh, uh, Biafra, and all they could do was stole from me. No, no, no. About there. Thank you, my brother, for that. No problem. I'm really, I'm, really, I'm really emotional right now, honestly. I'm so sorry, my brother. So sorry. Thank you. Uh -huh. my, my brother, George Olibe, please, I don't know if you are listening, if you can hear us. I don't know if you saw the video we played and what happened. You can continue with what happened then or you continue with a new line. Please carry on, or meet yourself. Yeah, so like I was saying before I was cut off, it's about yeah. Yeah, whether we, 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 we confronted the and the canoe with it, with the what is going on. And so I was telling us that the only one I confronted them with, you heard the audio that I played when he was shouting at me, I told you, don't talk about Aruchiku again. Don't talk about Aruchiku again. Do your brokers and get out there. Do your brokers and get out there. That is how hold you on, do. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The person that told you... Huh? Sorry. Hold on. Let me meet you. Sorry. Let me meet your side. The person that told you to go and swear at Aruchiku, now, after telling people that he was sent by Elohim and Eloha, now I told you not to talk about our Chuku on radio. Please, what led to that thing? Carry on, because we missed you what you were saying before. Go on, my brother. So he was now harassing me. Don't talk about our Chuku again. Don't talk about what you don't know. I said, no, we must talk about our Chuku. You say we will take oath. We have taken the oath. Why are you shining away? Why are you running away from it? I think that is when we have the final fallout. The next thing is I'm a saboteur, I'm a Yoshi transmitter, I am a womanizer, I'm a Kai Kai man, because he want to hide from Aruchiku. Have you had IPOB being tangible to tell you why I was expelled? I have told you now, the colonel, let him come out and mention my name. I will remove 30 years out of his age. I will surprise 30 years from his age, turn him to 30 years old boy. Very wicked and heartless human being. That is it, my brother. Thank you so much. I want to bring on our brother, Timothy. I want him to be there with you at the same time. So if there is any question he will ask you, he will ask. And if you want to jump in when he's talking, you can jump in. 
So at this point, we want to bring our brother Henry Chimes here. Welcome, my brother. And yeah, good evening. Get my judge. Good evening. Don't think. Go see. Um, that's my leader, Bioba George. Uh, my brother, Jelly, thank you for all you're doing. I've been listening yeah. to the program and the revelations. I mean, the thing that broke me instantly, like um, the other brother said, the little child, you know, the truth is, our people are still playing with emotions. It is time we suspend emotions and bring intelligence and governance. Now, I could remember when we get, took a stand. He never, fought for, he never fell for any of the blackmail. At least, I remember, I don't know about you, when they went on radio trying to blackmail and we get, is stopping Ndibu from having meeting in River State. For the record, for people that know me, I was born and bred in River State. The only thing that took out of River State was when I attended Abia State Polytechnic. Right? And uh, when most of us make these assertions, they are trying to blackmail Wiki. Is there any part of River State, even up to Ibu Eche, Ndibu have bought land and built houses? Room I pray come, room Odara, room Okurushi, room Odomanya, Isobo, Ata, just name it. Now, we need to suspend emotion. Today, Ndibo are begging every major political parties, or let me say the two major political parties, to seed, let me use the word seed, the presidential ticket to Ndibo. We are not ready to play the politics. Now, how can people go and traumatize? This thing can only go on because the politicians, the governors, are still dragging their foot. In the same vein, sorry, there's a little noise in the background. My little man is happy. No worries. In the same vein, when Hopu Zodema took a stand, most people were blackmailing him that he's killing Igbo youth, he's bombing them. No. He was after the criminals. It is time for Soludo, who was saying he doesn't know the crime that the canon and IPOB have committed. This is an evidence. The only way I can stop this thing for me is full kinetic approach, a set of gravity. Yes. The government, as a matter of fact, must go after every of their leaders in Nigeria. Because now, you see, that's what they call dislodging. I'm not, I'm not the best to advise them. We have NIA, we have DSS, we have Nigerians that are trained in security. You know, we have technocrats. But I think those policymakers, those who call the shots, if your likes and my likes were those that were calling the shots, this thing would have ended. By now, in fact, in that case, would have ended. What I was expecting the Minister of Justice and the Autonomy General Federation is to set a timeline that this case will run for six months. Every party bring evidence. I said, you know, by now, no camp, I swear on my life, no single camp. If you want to agitate, make it civil. Nigeria is not the only country with challenges. Every country have their own challenge. But one thing we would not sit by and watch is for people to begin to cow the whole region. This is sponsored terrorism. What are we to deny anymore? Now, these hoodlums carrying guns, terrorizing those who have gone to exercise their franchise. To whose benefit? To whose benefit? Look at the cry of that little baby. And if we can remember, this thing is not the first time. Now, 
these people need to be flushed out. The governors from the southeast, every month they take their security votes. What are they doing with those funds? This is the challenge we're having. Because you know, most of the people who are elected are not even technocrats. They know nothing about governance. Majority of them, they see government as a means of getting rich, as a means yes. of amassing wealth. They don't even see it as a, as a call to service. How much more to provide infrastructure, security and policies that will better the lives of the people. You know, don't get me wrong, the other day we saw what happened in America. I will say this in the United Kingdom, every day they seize loads of guns. Because there are criminal gangs in the United Kingdom, people who want to bring in so, many, so much light arms, they confiscate it. And most of these things do not come to the public, not until they are being sentenced, but I will advise you to follow the National Crime Agency. You begin to see the sort of criminals they deal with. You know, and here we are with evidence of danger, yet people are playing to the gallery. It is time. You know, people, we are, we are, we are, we are well to do. It is time. All communities need to come together. Every place, I mean, if there is a commitment to flush out this thing, my brother, I bet you to not last one month. When Don Wami was terrorizing the whole of Omok, when we came, or the government of Riverside got fed up, they flushed him out. Why was it in, in Enugu? The same thing happened to Oxisi Kampo. We have so, so many known criminals. The government, the people were not ready to deal with this yet. If we are ready, we would take the appeal to the federal government. We don't even have a difficult territory compared to Sambisa Forest. Whichever camp these guys are staying, I mean, burn them out. Even if it will cost civilian casualty, let them be forced out. Every other leader. My brother, I guarantee you it will not be long. No. One of the yeah. communities they have taken, I, I'm telling you, I guarantee you this one, I know it for sure. I mean, one of the communities they have taken for years now will soon be retaken, not just be retaken, there will be a very loud noise there. Go, I promise you that one. Please, wrap it up. Let's bring George Oni back to... Um, now, people will say agitation. Which movement are you modeling after? I follow the EFF. As of today, Malema was in the parliament calling the shots, not on social media, not in the bushes. You know, these guys are a bunch of criminals. And it is time we reevaluate everything we are doing. The political capital is going down. What do they want to? We cannot endanger the next generation. I mean, don't get me wrong. What they are doing, they are like punishing those who reside in the rural areas. Most people, their place of dwelling is their local community. They've committed no crime. If they are brave enough, why don't they take this their stupidity to the town to confront INEC? What now? You see, my brother, let me just say this quickly. What I've been expecting from them is to commit a jailbreak in Abuja. Yes. Now. You claim don't give me to Abuja. Start with any barracks in Abuja. Oh, is there in the Let them start with their first. They claim they want to pressure the government to release their leader. They know that on the general federation, the Nigerian um, council or attorney, Labran is known. They, why don't you can kidnap Malami? Uh -huh. Use him as a bargaining chief. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, why don't they go even, I don't want to say some certain things because of my environment, but if they uh -huh. are serious, you know, if they are serious, I mean, watch, watch, just for example, let me just use the New York map here as an example. They either go against the rats or they go for the big fish, which are government officials. Mm -hmm. The man, Radin Keke, that is not a high value target. 
why don't they take this thing at least an inch closer to us to rock? My brother, Soludo and every governor needs to come together and tell themselves the truth. Yes, they must have used these guys to get into our faith. But it's time we call a spade a spade. If they don't understand what governance is, then let them tender their resignation. These guys, they need to be flushed out. And every of their leader, both in home and diaspora, they need to go after them. And we will make a list of those who have committed crime against the land. Efe will be in Italy and call for priests and traditional rulers of Alibo to be attacked, and that did happen. Not to mention the one in Nigeria that was threatening people. I mean, how long would this go on? Like you rightly said, we all have one life to live. Those who are so afraid to speak, what is the guarantee that I can go to bed and wake up tomorrow morning? What is the guarantee? Why will you all be cowed for these criminals? You know, it is, it is becoming, it's no longer annoying, it's no longer funny. This should be declared. I mean, I wish Buhari would declare martial law. It is in the Nigerian constitution. He should invoke it. I don't care less. We cannot allow this to happen. We cannot allow this to happen. If they want to make a case, let them go and join politics and begin to call the shots. Look at, even what are people not talking about? Look at between, sorry, let me just digress. Look at between Tinibu and Osibanjo. Is that not political betrayal? Politics mm -hmm. is a game of interest. Osibanjo has gotten to the point that he's not willing to trade his interest for Tinibu. At the end of the day, APC will produce one candidate. Now, everybody's throwing in their weight. Whereas, indeed, we are only begging. And tomorrow we begin to cry that marginalizing us. Who do us this thing? We do ourselves. Since 1999, the same Shenanigan, what have we achieved? From 1999 to date, the only thing I know I can say we have achieved is this killing, maiming, and destruction. My brother, thank you so much for your doing. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, my brother, for your wonderful contribution this evening. Let me bring our brother, George Onibe, back. And uh, one of our brothers, Udu, from India, Awele. Awele, please, you will have to wait for our brother, George Onibe, to make a little contribution from what uh, he has heard so far. But if he permits me to let you in first, then I'll do it. So my brother, George Onibe, carry on. Mm. Hello, George. Uh, you can bring in uh, Awele, please. Awele, welcome to the program. Please give us your contribution or questions. Okay, good evening, my brother Odogu Ijele, and also Wamadi Opa George Onyibe. <laughs> so, actually, this is my first time <laughs> of being on the uh, platform. So, I will introduce myself properly because uh, we don't hide our identity. Uh, we don't hide our identity. So for this is my first time and I'm happy to be here. So my name is Odogu uh, Awele and I I'm come from Delta State as about precisely Oshimili South Local Government. So I want to thank you so much uh, for this uh, eye opening and expose you around know, this uh, bunch of uh, criminals parading themselves as, uh, as freedom fighters. You know, it's not easy to fight these people and uh, when you fight them, not just fighting them, you know, you know they have godfathers in police or all part of the government sponsoring them. So it's not easy to fight them and uh, win, but we are winning also. And the uh, job we need also is also winning. It's not easy. You know, there are a lot of uh, troubles that come with it because myself, uh, I'm a product of those fighting against these monsters. And uh, I know how I'm feeling it on my own side. But we will never relent because they are, they are baby to me actually because I, I can't be scared of uh, this uh, bunch of lunatics. So first and foremost, uh, I want to uh, like I was born in Anambra State. For those so, so, so some of them yapping at the 
why I'm not from Southeast, why should I why should I contribute there? Or why should I put my mouth? I'm not from South South. I was born in Anambra State. So that gave me the authority to speak on any issue concerning a whether whether state, you were born Anambra. in Anambra State or you were not born in Anambra State, you are an evil man. You have every right to weigh in on this issue. There is no part of Igbo land that suffered more damage and lost more people than Asaba during that Biafra war. So in, on this issue, in this case, you have every right to say whatever you want to say, so long you are saying the truth. Please carry on. Okay, thank you very much, my brother. So I just want to let those guys know that first and foremost, the person that promised you Biafra that was promised since 2015 to date, and he's telling you those of you the, the, the ones serving the police, army, navy, and all. Ah, we lost the guys. Please, let's bring our brother, George Onibe, back. My brother, please, I don't know if you want to uh, leave now. I don't know how many minutes you still have left. But uh, what you've said so far and uh, where you stop, I don't know if you want to continue from there. Ga carry on, please. You are the main guest of the day. Hello. George, unmute yourself. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you have a specific question for me or? There is no question. If you want to come to come and question, you refuse to come up. So are we going to beat them? Just go out from everything you said so far. And I want you to weigh in on the next, the next, the next way forward, like me, I believe that our people should get their PVCs. And people are being killed. Why trying to get their PVCs? You now, what do you think is the way out from this? And what advice do you have for the people that are still there, those in the bush, those that are still have a double mind? And if we will go back, like tell us the scams they've been pulling with their defense fund and all this contribution. How you know just summarize it? We want to use the next 30 minutes just for you. I'm not going to bring any other person on, just use uh, something like 30 minutes, summarize everything, give your advice to those that are still inside the bushes, killing themselves. And you, you know, you can tell us one or two things about Benjamin Madibu because we do not really focus on him. People don't know that he is the facto leader of all these criminals in the country. Carry on the floor is yours, my brother. Oh, yes. Uh, the truth cannot be overemphasized. Uh, first of all, we look at the issue of uh, unknown gunmen going to polling station to disenfranchise the people themselves. Our people must understand Biafra or no Biafra. If Biafra must come, you cannot boycott the political process. And before you start fighting for Igbo presidency, fighting for your political uh, chance, you need. And anybody who actually meant well for you and is through their action or inaction disenfranchising you, preventing you from having your PVC, is your enemy. But that is how none they cannot function. They want to cripple everybody and then control everybody. But it's not possible for him. I will go back to Anambra State. So Ludo have a choice to make. Either play sentimental politics, spend eight years like other governors before him, and then moved on. Or he built Anambra for good. To bring peace in Anambra, you just go to Yal and pick Benjamin Madugugu up. He is in charge of all the criminality, terrorism.
going on in Anambra. Benjamin Madubugu, Mbose, Hiala. Benjamin Madubugu, he is there. But you know, Benjamin even have connection with Ame, Nigerian Ame. I don't understand. So what you do, they call Ame for you. The, the volunteers who saw Benjamin was evil, challenged him. Benjamin called Nigeria Army for them. And they pretend. So our people should not allow anybody to deceive them. Go and get your PVC. And then before we know whether they are rigging election or they are not rigging election, look at the current data for every region. The Southeast is nowhere to be found when it comes to the number of people, persons who have collected their PVC. Go and get your PVC. This is the time we get involved in politics within our region. You must get involved. All this one and the canoe is doing is not looking for Biafra. Of course, those of you who are there, the earlier you save yourself, the better. Those of you within the canoe, the earlier you save yourself, the better. Their children are in diaspora, they are living large. Now the canoe wife has bought a house in London. Have you not heard? I didn't say I was told by now the canoe group. And you are in the bush. They told you you can't have children. Have you wondered why they told you not to have children? Because their evil will not hide forever. It will come up. And then nobody will fight for you. You will die for nothing. That is why they are telling you, don't get married. Don't get married. Be discovered. Be, be, you have to be celebrated, man. Just stand aside. Fight for your country. Now lie. They are deceiving you. They are crippling all of you. If we want Biafra, is it by replicating the evil we have campaigned against in Nigeria in our own land, in our own region? We cannot be deceiving ourselves. Let's stop wasting the next generation. Let's stop deceiving ourselves. Now the Kano will continue to kill. He's there now, remoting everybody. Simeon Ekba is jumping up and down. Godo me Godo. He do kingdom. For you to understand the power of deception, you can imagine a woman, suppose a Igbo woman come to read you and say, he do a kelem ye, 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 Hey! Who do this thing to us? All of them are under the colonel introduce them. Let us be wise, oh. let us be wise, oh, and save ourselves every day. Fundraising, fundraising, fundraising. You are saying that they can give accounts. He sees standing Nayanya, his auntie, name Nayanya is in charge of finance. You are saying that they can, where is transmitter money? Oh, hey, it's George Onibe. Where is defense money? Oh, hey, it's Ichen Nasebu. Where is defense? Any money, now they can't know who collected, but he's the treasurer, he's the financial secretary, he is everything. Uh, uh, I encourage you, you can stop this evil, or you can sit aside and think it doesn't consign you. You own your Android phone, come on social media, insult anybody you like, do whatever you like, but in the end of the day, you will see the amount of damage you have done to yourself. Have you not noticed they destroy your life? They take your life away from you, take away your source of livelihood, and then leave you defenseless. And so it is easy for them to toast you up and down, make a mess of you, and push you out. Well, uh, Rabbi Chas, go and look at all those people who told you, I'm going to ask me, I might to ask me. Where are all of them? We have what it takes. We have the capacity. My brother, this is the time to save the next generation. Not be part of the problem. Some persons believe, oh, I got Kwadon Kanye. No problem. Now Kwadon Kanye, stay in the bush. Just like our brother said, they go to remote villages where they know they don't have a police station. 
they go to remote villages where there are no light or means of communication. They undermine those people, take advantage and rubbish all of them. And then they come on Facebook and tell you, yes, you know my PVC, we will kill you. Whoa, 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 whoa. They are backing, toothless bulldog. Let them come to the town. And those of you in the village, you don't know what is happening. Those of you in the diaspora, call your people and tell them to wake up from illusion. Now they can't illusion. It's over. And then we can come back home and re-strategize. We can come back home and see how to build our land. We can come back home and prepare for a better future we can be proud of as a people. I'm here on this platform with my brother Ijele, as simple as ABC. Ijele mean well for Ndibo. Ijele mean well for our people. And that is why they look at Evo and call it by the name. And if you, what you are doing is to protect the interest of our people. First of all, before if what you're looking for at the end of the day is for the overall interest of our people, you will see there are people who will vigorously campaign for it even more than we have ever done. Let's tell ourselves the truth and be wise. For China Sangudu, for the DOS and other Pro Biafran group who call on now the kind of my leader, my leader. All of you are the current plague that is destabilizing Ibo land. The plague that echoes as a people. Somewhere along the line, you pretend as if eh, you are doing the right thing. You are destroying everything that we are. Our values is being bastardized. You are bastardizing our blood lineage. You people are encouraging in the kind of to destroy everything that we are. Uh, maybe you are those group of intellectual dishonest individual, but in the end, it is going to boomerang all this atrocity. Oh. Hello, George, are you there? Hello. Are you there, George? Oh. Hello? Oh, we'll miss you. Let me call him. He ended this thing suddenly. Let me call him and make sure he's okay. I want to make sure it's okay. Hello, my brother. Okay, that means I'll have to end it. I'll have to leave you here now. Okay, thank you so much. We all appreciate you. We all appreciate your you coming. Uh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, bro. So my people, is uh, his battery. Okay, is his battery lost? Uh, uh, battery life. But guys, you all heard what uh, he said. I will bring in on more people. We didn't talk on, about only what I will talk about. All the other people, they've been kidnapping, they've been disappearing. Very soon, I will start bringing on like some of their leaders abroad, those in diaspora who have woken up to this camp. I'll be bringing them here to give us their, their inner knowledge of the activities of these people. Thank you everyone for being a part of the program. Those of you that join us from Nigeria Speaks, we are now using the page on the Little Truth. You can join us there if you want to be following us on our 
on uh, my post, some uh, short and long articles I'm writing. You join us there. And those of you on that page too, the JLA Speaks uh, is my main page. Very soon, around June, I will start using it properly. I will be uh, streaming simultaneously like I'm doing now, but most of my activities will be moved to that one. And also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. The name is JLA Speaks. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell. Those of you that are joining us via YouTube, I appreciate you. Before you leave, make sure you like the video. If you are watching it right now, you can uh, minimize the live chat box, then be able to like the video. The more you like the video, the more it goes up the YouTube algorithm, and more people will see it. Thank you everyone for being a part of the program. Always open your mind to the truth, no matter how painful it is, because that is the only way you will know whether what your beliefs are built on a solid stuff, substance, or just nothing. Stop pursuing air. Don't let anyone fool you. They know there is suffering in the land. Yes, there is suffering in the land, but don't let people exploit you. Don't let them exploit your pain. Don't let them exploit your suffering. As we can see, these fake freedom fighters are the fake revolutionary are putting down the camera and show that the same place. They are both criminals. This one is just being more modernized with this one. One name the can in the crude bonobo he is. He must always uh, behave like the animal he is. The, he must behave like the cloth he was caught from. The family, the father, the mother, look at them. You know that these are not people that anything good will come from. If there is anything good that is going to come into the land, it will never come from this local family because they are all rotten. They are all dirty, classless, no character. Look at them from the man and family to the rest of them. That's why the mango tree in their father's company did that. So those of you that call yourself traditionalists and they are still following someone, you have not asked why uh, the mango tree in their house with that with food somehow. It's like a woman, a pregnant woman, tired with pregnancy, no wonder thing. In my place, forget now that we are eating rubbish and all this. Back in the day, when we not started eating all this nonsense that is cleaning us, drink sugar every day, go fanta, whatever, and you weaken your body. Back in the day, we know what this means to try. So you are either a believer in the traditional uh, 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 tenet or you are not. So if you believe in tradition, why would you believe that someone who's in whose father's house? A mango tree with that with fruit or that. So which one is it? Which one is it? It's either you believe it or not. All right? So thank you everyone for being a part of the program tonight. I wish you all a wonderful sleep. See you. I am maybe traveling tomorrow. I don't know yet, but I may not be able to be making videos as often because I have lots of things I'm pursuing right now. I have important things to do. So when you don't hear from me, don't take it as if anything wrong happened. Because I'm busy. I just have to run some private business. Okay. So once again, have a wonderful night. I love you.